Morning, how are we today? So we have got um, back by chest and tries today with a little bit of yoga in the mix. Gonna get some music going. Okay, let's get warmed up first. So we're just gonna do a side step with a little shoulder roll first. Four, three, so this will be strength with a bit of yoga. Mixed in as some active recovery. Five. Excellent. Let's take it to our high skip. Squeeze it up. Six. Four. Excellent. Let's keep our hands up. Opposite hand to straight leg. Try to keep those shoulders pulled back and down. Five. Three. Good job. Let's take the feet wide. Gonna reach low and reach high. Push the hips back. Three more, please. Two left. Excellent. Let's take it across the body. Pull it down. Four. Three, excellent, good job. Other side, squeeze it down. Oops. Don't lose your balance like I nearly did. Okay, squeeze that tummy tight, hinge over at the hip. Two more. Let's go to a hip rotation and take it the other way. Awesome. Let's go to a full body rotation. Squeeze it round. Four. Good. Warming up the shoulders and the upper body. Little circles. Little bigger. As big as you can. Three. Good job. Open, close the chest. Excellent. Let's take it above the head. Awesome. Let's roll out the wrist. Come up on the toes. Four. Okay, let's hinge it back. Three. Two. And one. Well done. Righty out. Nice and warm, hopefully. It's getting a bit chilly. Now the weather's definitely cooled down slightly. So let's just keep moving. While I quickly explain, you can just sidestep. We're going to start with back. So um, depending on your skill or experience, skill level experience will depend on the weight you are going to use. So you need to be able to hinge it over with a flat back, which means slight bend in the knees. Then we tip and we've got a tabletop back. We're going to squeeze the elbows up to just past the ribs. Flat back. Pull those shoulder blades together. Pause tight always. Now, if you're round, if you're tipping over and round and you're fine, then adding weight to that, we do not want that. That's not good for your back at all. Keep working with that. I'll just show you a quick variation if you find you can't get your back straight. You can come to the ground, shoulders 
over the hand and you can take it to a renegade row, okay? Let's finish with four more. Two. Excellent, so that's the first round of back, or first round of our rows done, just a quick rotation stretch. Okay, we've got bicep curls next. So we're going to take our palms up, we're going to squeeze up, keeping the elbows down, feet nice and wide. So you're staying still, obviously use a weight that's suitable to you. We don't want to be moving around when we pull it up, we don't want any of that, so then your body is working and uh, using momentum to get that weight up. Four more, please. Shoulders back. Three. Last one. Oh. Excellent. Put the weights down, just somewhere where you can grab them fairly easily. We're going to take it to a cat cow stretch. Now, please do not do this if it does not work for you. So knees under the sh knees under the hips, hands under the shoulders. We're going to start from the base of the spine, and we're going to in bring that. Take it to cow first. So we come, we lift through the chin. So basically, taking the spine the opposite direction to the cat, which so from the base of the spine will go into cat now. Probably should have started with cat, might have been easier to explain. So we think about working one vertebrae at a time, rounding up, squeeze those shoulder blades apart so we're going all the way to the tip of the of the spine and then we just take it the opposite direction from the base it's kind of like we're in turning the spine the other way so we're going into cow lift that chin to a nice stretch in the tummy again from the base we take it in up into cat opening up through those vertebrae. You might find one of these movements is easier than the other. Base of the spine again, we're going to invert that spine into our Okay, now we're going to come back to a neutral position and I'm just gonna weave it back into that dip of oh, point good work okay let's pull back for a quick down dog come forward and bring it up so we're going to set two or back and biceps now Grabbing your dumbbells. Okay. Hinge, let's go. We've got 15. We're going to go down to Renegade if you need to. Head in line with the spine. Five more. Up we come. Biceps, we're only gonna do 10 of these. So palms up, we squeeze up, and then we squeeze back down. So try and keep it controlled. 
All right. Oh. Go down and wait if you need to. Lower is harder. Shoulders back. Come on, nearly there. Last one. Oh, goodness me. Feeling that today. Okay, back to our cat cow. Let's start with cat first this time. Knees under hips, hand under, hands under shoulders. From the base of the spine. All the way, think about one vertebrae at a time. Rounding through. And then from the base, we're going to take it the opposite direction. Into cow. Slowly back to cat. Try and work with the breath as you go. Okay, last cow. Bring it back to neutral. And then let's pull back for that child's pose. Breathe back to a down dog. Do a couple of walk the dog, they're not staying here long, mate. No. Up we come. Round it out. Okay, last round for our back and bicep. So get a weight that's suitable for you. Okay. Rest that tummy. Shoulders back. Let's go. Imagine that you're squeezing up from the elbows, but you're not really, but we want to try and initiate the movement from there rather than from the wrist. Five to go. Shoulders back, flat back, five. Well done. Okay, if you just want to have a little rest before we go to bicep, if you want to stretch your back, the one is kind of just doing that cat cow movement on from the knees. I should say, like right, pushing back, leaning on the legs. Give that back a little bit of a release. Okay. 10. Shoulders back, feet wide, body still. Let's go. If you've got a lighter, lighter weight and it's easy, you might want to do a couple of extra reps. Four to go, come on. Last one. Okay. Last round of cat cow. 
Let's begin with power from the tailbone all the way through. And reverse into cat, round through that thoracic spine, up the chin. Last couple. One more cow, please. From the base all the way to the top of the spine. Back to neutral position. Let's pull it back, take those knees wide. Well, down dog. Three. Okay, come forward. Right. So we've done the back and the bicep. Now we're moving to chest and tricep. Okay. We're going to start with the chest press. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go wide, narrow. So normal chest press, straight rest, drop down, and then we bring the arms close to the body, so we turn the dumbbells around. So normal, turn, elbows brush past the rip. Okay, oop, <laughs> a bit tricky maneuvering around with big dumbbells, so come up a bit. Okay, so let's begin, still tucking those shoulders under the body, straight rip, get where my elbows are, wide, Switch in, narrow turn. Okay, so we've got eight all together. Three more, three more. Good job. Oh, feeling that. A little bit of chest work yesterday. I didn't think I could feel it, but I do now. Excellent. Okay. Weights down. You might want to go a little bit lighter. We're going to do some skull crushes next. Terrible name, but great effective tricep exercise. I think I'll have to go down a bit because my arms are feeling it. Okay. So you can use one or you can use two dumbbells, okay? So, so you from this angle, if you're using one, you are holding either side, tucking those shoulders under the body and we're dropping down just past the head, straightening out the dumbbells. If you're using two, you're going to place them together, drop down, and then squeeze it back up. I'm going to turn back round now. Okay. I might try the heavier ones to start. I can always go down. Okay, so placing the dumbbells together. 
we're going to drop down and then straighten out through the arm. Push them together. You've got two. Shoulders under the body. Four. Let's just do eight. Six. Seven. Oh, <laughs> Woo. okay, weights down please. We're going to do a little bit of a yoga move for some active recovery. Okay, so coming over, we're gonna start with a plank on the knees or feet. I might go knees just because I just killed my triceps. So we are going to Padaranga, bring ourselves with control to the ground. Then we're going to place our hands in a line with our shoulders. Move the core from the base of the spine. We squeeze up to an easy cobra. Push the feet into the ground. Do not do this if it doesn't work for you. And then we're going to place our hands down and squeeze back to a downward dog. Hold here. 10 seconds. You can walk the dog if you like. Okay. Coming forward, down to the knee. Pull back. Good child pose. Okay, step two, over we come. Back two, wide narrow chest press. Okay, so starting with wide, and shoulders under, check where your elbows are going towards the hips. Turn, elbows brush past the ribs. That's two. Turn. Three. Four, halfway. Come on. Straight rest. Adjust the weight accordingly. Three. Two more, please. Last one. Now I'm going to go down and wait for triceps because I really felt like my form was starting to split before. So try and do the same if you need to. So because I'm going lighter, we're going to do some extra reps so make sure that you just do what you can. You get to a point where you've done enough, your form's starting to split, just take the next rest. Okay, placing the dumbbells together. Let's go. So, so you'll notice that my elbows aren't completely vertical to the ceiling. They're slightly back towards the hip. Try not to let those elbows come out wide. Think about working those triceps, mind muscle connection. Five to go. <laughs> Good job. Okay, just coming up quickly so we can come over for our chaturanga. Quick shake out of the arms. We're nearly there. But 
tricep stretch. Okay, you might want to try chaturanga from the feet. Your arms might be a bit too tired for that, so just do what you can do. Okay, so we're going to begin in that plank. Five seconds. Okay, let's slowly lower ourselves. Okay, so you can either go easy cobra or upward facing dog only if it works for you. Push those feet into the mat. Working from the base of the spine. Okay, now we're going to reverse that one. Pull that to a down dog. Ease it back. Walking the dog slowly. Four. Excellent. Let's bring it back to our child's pose. Move wide. Pull back. Okay, guys, last set. Nearly there. Okay, let's tuck those shoulders under the body. Itchy nose, sorry. <laughs> Always itchy at the wrong time, isn't it? Okay, straight ribs. Let's go. Wide, narrow. Elbows, 45 degrees towards the hip. Halfway. Two more, please. One, two, three. I don't know who else to be. Last one. Four, five, six. Like they say, I can't be fixed. One, two, three. Your attention's all I need. Excellent. Just put that weight to the side. I'm actually going to be using that one for the tricep. Okay. Grabbing your dumbbell or dumbbells. Okay, tucking shoulders under the body, pushing those dumbbells together. Let's go, bringing it down past the skull. Five more. Three. Oh, about that. In the triceps. Okay, weight down, please. Okay, let's just have a quick tricep spread. Okay, nearly there, guys. The last little bit of active recovery. Okay, so we're going into that plank for a few seconds. And then we're going to slowly lower ourselves to the ground with control. Three, two, one. Let's go. Brilliant. Okay, pressing those feet into the ground. From the base of the spine, easy cobra, shoulder blades down the body, or upward 
Stretch it back now. Down dog. Hips high. Okay, walk in the dog. Let's do a few extra here. Sit. Okay. See how, if you can, how far you can get your heels towards the ground. But don't push it too hard. Five seconds. Awesome. Coming forward to the knees. Take the knees wide. Let's pull back. Stretch up. Breathe out the arm. Use the heels to lift it. That's the wrong thing, the hip towards the heel. Excellent, let's come up and then we're just going to walk it to the side. So if you're walking to the left, you're pulling through the right arm and pushing your hips to the ground, towards the ground. Brilliant, and then let's come round to the other side. Pull it back. Great work. Okay, let's bring it up into a plank and then just walk it in. Oh, let's round. Open up that chest, squeeze those shoulder blades back and down. And kind of like the cat cow, we're going to reverse that movement. Squeeze the shoulder blades away from each other. And then from the base of the spine, bring it up nice and tall. Rock those shoulders back. And other way. Awesome. Move some of these dumbbells. Let's just take the feet wide now. And grab that wrist. You're just gonna pull it over, stretching down the side, side. Awesome, up and over to the other side. Great work. Bring it to the center, roll it out. Excellent, let's just tip straight legs, hold here, flat back, hammy stretch. Just come as low as you can. Okay, bend the legs, bring it up, roll it out, let's go to our quad stretch. Didn't do a lot of quad work, but let's give it a quick stretch. Four, two, excellent, switching legs. Let's just rotate, squeeze it round. Four. Good job. Let's take it down for a nice big inhale. Two more. And last one. And you made it. That was back buys, chest and tries with some yoga inspired interludes. Um, don't forget we have the live virtual fitness three days a week if you'd like to join us from anywhere in the world. 
get in touch and where you can get you set up. Have a wonderful day. See you later.